Jupiter has a lot going on with massive storms, intense winds, auroras, and severe temperature and pressure extremes. The James Webb Space Telescope of NASA has now taken fresh images of the planet. Webb's Jupiter observations will provide scientists with much more information about Jupiter's inner workings. The two images were captured by the observatory's near-infrared camera, or NIRCAM, which has three specialized infrared filters that highlight the planet's details. Because infrared light is imperceptible to the human eye, it has been mapped onto the visual spectrum. In general, the longest wavelengths look redder, while the shortest wavelengths appear bluer. The web data was translated into images by scientists in collaboration with citizen scientist Judy Schmidt. Auroras stretched to high heights over Jupiter's northern and southern poles. In the solo picture of Jupiter, which was made from a composite of many web photos, the auroras glow in the redder colored filter that also accentuates light reflected from lower clouds and upper hazes. An alternative filter, mapped to yellows and greens, depicts hazes whirling around the poles. A third blue mapped filter highlights light reflected from a deeper primary cloud. Because the clouds are reflecting so much sunlight, the great red spot a renowned storm so large it might engulf Earth, looks white in these images, as do other clouds. Webb views Jupiter with its thin rings, which are a million times fainter than the planet, and two tiny moons called Amalthea and Adrastea in a wide field image. The fuzzy specks in the lower background are most likely galaxies photobombing this picture of Jupiter. And as always, if you want to learn more about space and stay up to date, like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.